Hello everybody, it is I Plays or John back at today with another Jurassic Craft video. And today in this video, as you can see from my inventory here, I did a lot, a lot of mining. That's because I needed a whole lot of iron and redstone and we apparently have a powdery shard. But yeah, as you can see we have two, four stacks of those security fences and for those of you that don't know those are oh well we also need a lot of stone for those too but iron nuggets iron ingots redstone stone for those for that i mean we just needed a whole bunch of resources and in the process of that we got a whole bunch of stuff oh look at that we got all that the, the sand is very useful, so... Oh, also, to help out with the mining, I made a bunch of a bunch more Traveler's Backpacks. Those were pretty easy. I just used some of the sand we got from those. And, and that's, that's the recipe right there. It's really easy. That's just some wool and carpets, gold, leather, and then glass and iron for the cases. So, that was really easy. As you can see, we found a dungeon along the way that had a bunch of fireworks and a bunch of stuff in it. So, we looted that as well. And that's just the aftermath of what we've got. Also, this sword is sadly better than our ancient sword. But, oh well, for now, I guess. Uh, I didn't want that. But what I do want to do now is... I know we've got to have... That's for our cocoa bean farm. We can go... We might as well get that going now what, what do I do with the cocoa beans God, did I lose the cocoa beans I think I lost the cocoa beans God. Yeah. all right let's check up here one last time no cocoa beans there they are all right so now we can go ahead and we'll just head right here and we'll no I don't want you there grab the axe and we'll just go one two three four five six one two three four five six and now place the cocoa beans and now we let those grow and we now have a functioning successful cocoa bean farm as you can see, I, our thing got glitched up, so this is respawn like right here now, so I just dug my way out. Also, as you can see, we got some more of the cow farm going. We filled out the rest of our farms here. Now, before we do anything else, let's go check, let's go check on our little parasaur. Look, where is he? Oh, he's bigger. Oh, my dinopedia is in one of the things. We need to go back and get it. We need to see how, how old he is or she is. I think, uh, yes, yeah, so this is she. All right, grab, come on, go, good. Parkour. Get better. Rusty, so rusty. All right, I think it's in this one. Yeah, there it is. Also, what, the reason I collected a bunch of these fireworks is when we do eventually open the park, we're going to have a big old fireworks display. All right, so now back, run, jump, 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 get back, get back. We have to get back to him. One, two, three, go, go, go. He's sleeping. <gasps> He's age two. <gasps> Look at her. Look at her. Make sure it's yeah, that's still good on food for now. All right, so let's come on back over here. And now the next one we're gonna, the next dinosaur we're getting today is I will run back up to the house. And then jump, jump, jump. And we will be getting a. Give me one second. Let me run upstairs. Oh, there's another paint, relic scrap painting. Gotta clear that out. Yeah, that's all the stuff from other things. A galley minus. Alright, so now. Uh, we need to press that. Now, the other thing we need to look for is wood so we can get a chest up there. Let's see, we have three oak wood there. 
Do we are we out of wood? Do I need to go collect more wood? Um I think we need to go collect more wood. Yes, it appears we do need to go collect more wood. Alright. But we just need to chop down one tree, so Yeah, this guy'll work. Chop 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 chop. Alright. Ah. And oh cactuses are done growing, so we'll throw that up there. Grab them. Grab them all. And now we can finish our cactus farm. And there we go. Alright, plant the trees. And alright. So now what we'll do is we'll come on in here and we'll just make a few double chests. Or, okay, we'll just make one double chest, I guess. Alright. Well, uh, for upstairs, for just the miscellaneous stuff from the analyzer. So we'll just throw that on top of there. Clear out the fossilized fern spore. Alright, so now there, there, there. 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 Alright then. Just throw that up there, 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 there, there. No, you go in there. Alright, and now. Oh man, we're getting all kinds of that from all our plant fossils. Alright, so now what we're going to do is. And we need the torches. Torches, I think we're in this third one here. No. Second one then, maybe? Um, first one then, maybe? No. What happened to the torches? I know we had torches. Uh-huh. This guy's still got all kinds of stuff from him. Let's see, let's see, no, torches, okay, do I have any coal then, that's not in my furnaces, I do have three coal, alright, so we'll just do that then, that's bizarre, what happened to our torches, oh well, so boom, and boom, alright, so now what we have to do, is a great big long process of terraforming well it shouldn't actually be too super long but let's see I need a shovel I need a stone my stone shovel what happened to it oh well you know what we're just gonna we're gonna make an iron one I know I had sticks what did I do with them there they are Boom, and then, and done, all right, and now we will go, and we shall begin the process of terraforming for our Gallimimus cage. Let's see, we want to get rid of all this grass here. Because the Galley Mimus cage, I think. So we want to have. Yeah, that's a good pathway. So then we want the Galley Mimus to have plenty of room. So. Let's see. Let's go and get this one first, because we might be able to clear out the dirt and get some to place it. Alright. Alright, yeah, we'll 
still do a few more out. And there's that. And jump and jump. I think this will work just fine. So now we just dig all this out and get to place in these bases. Get rid of the rice. All right, and boom, boom. Uh, ooh, uh, oh, whoops. All right. So yeah, this is part of the pro terraforming process. Is yeah, that's what I thought I did. All right. So now we have to mine these up. And we aren't going to mess with the inside of the cage, really. Mostly because, I mean, it's good to, for them to have that nice natural habitat. You know, that nice natural land formation. And the, the world can generate it a lot better than I can make it. Trust me. Alright. Grab that, that, and that. One two and three and now we just bring this around yeah the only thing we'll do is we'll just fill out the land and cut it off right where we need it to so we can't get out at all and all right so boom got a good chunk of our cage made yeah we want a lot of room because for this guy because gallimimus like to run around a lot they are very active dinosaurs and jump jump grab that alrighty and Let's see, can I reach it? All right, can I reach it now? Yes, I can. There we go. All right. And now we will finish off this here placement. And there we go. And now we need to go around and we need to get a lot of dirt. We're just going to... And we don't want to make the landscape look too ugly, so we're going to try and keep it kind of looking just how it generated. Ooh, more of these guys. These are good because Gallimimus are plant eaters. Don't care about the crickets. I need the dirt. And we're back, everybody. So, sorry about that. If you missed, the, the, if you missed it, the camera did cut out so yeah if there's content missing it's just because well camera was cut for too long for me to be able to leave it in and have it be good so there we go and jump go 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 on over here place that Nice that. And now, yeah, this is a nice, plenty big cage for him. So now we just place all of this. And there we go. Yeah, we need a lot of dirt for this. And come on up. Ooh. And let's go, let's go. We need to collect more dirt. Grab all of this. Just grab it all. 
the more dirt, the better. And there we go. 25, we're going to need more than that. Is it? <laughs> Excuse me. All right, this, that'll all turn to grass, so it doesn't really matter. Is that? No. Edit. All right, so that's good. 45 dirt, I think, should be enough. Because you don't need to do the super a lot more. So. And let's just get the easy ones done. These little one blockers. And clear all that out. Oh, I left him. All right. Grab that. That and boom. And now we're back to this area. And I don't think we will have enough. Joy. If we do, it'll be just barely. And like that, that can't happen. So we'll grab that. Oh my God, we have literally just enough. Not a spare bit of dirt. Well, alrighty then. So now we can throw that. We will take him, throw him up there. Come on, just err. Alright, so now one, two, three. And. Actually, because Gallium I must get pretty tall, so we'll do five, I guess. Alright. Grab them. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm trying to. I don't know if I'll have enough security fence wire. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, everybody. So. This is the outline of the cage. We're going to cut here and we'll be back when the cage is done. And we're back everybody. And as you can see, this is what the completed cage does look like. So we're going to start off. We'll go clear out some of this grass and two, three, four, and get, get the Gallimimus egg down. Dinopedia, make sure it's status warm. Very good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and place the feeder down right there. That's a buffalo. Feeder down right there, and we'll start. go ahead and start getting. All right, there's that, 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 that. And we'll get all those nice little plants in there to feed him all right you can collect some more wheat and we'll use the wheat to breed cows not this wheat then collect potatoes and any carrots perhaps doesn't look like it all right but I, there are a bunch of these did wrong plants don't want those where are they there they are all back there look at them Look at all the food for our Gallimimus and our Parasaur. These are a Gower? What in God's name is a Gower? Okay. Alright, grab all this. Yeah, that's a lot of food for them. Alright, there's some more over here. Well, it's just food aplenty. Herbivore food aplenty. Good, good. Alright, I think that's good enough for now. Grab this. Don't want to miss any of the ones that we broke. Alrighty now. So, we'll come on over here. Check on our Gallimimus. He's almost done. And then throw the lettuce in there. 
Oh, I like how that's so much darker. I can easily see it. Alright. Throw all the food in there. Alright, boom. Boom. See, he doesn't want the flax. I'll take the peanuts, the wheat, the onion, the potato, and the seeds, the cucumbers, and that's 1720. Oh! He hatched. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where is he? Break the grass. Where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm missing him. Where is he? Where is he? He hatched. I know he's hatched. I, the egg isn't there anymore. Where is he? <gasps> oh my god, he's so tiny! He's so tiny! He's an omnivore as well. Alright, so that, that'll that be useful. So we can go give... So we got 1,700 in plant food in there. So we can go give the rest of this to our good old buddy, the Parasaur. And he's gotten even bigger. Or she's gotten even bigger. Alright, throw the barley, the carrots, the corn, and the bell pepper. Does she, does she want parsley seeds? No, she doesn't want parsley seeds, oregano seeds. No, no. Maybe maybe the Gallimimus will take the crickets. I doubt it, but we can only hope. Alright, so... Come on over here. Oh, wait. And I'm, I'm dumb. Either way, everybody. We've got this cute little guy right here. Oh. Oh, he's so adorable. Look at him. Okay, he ate other eggs. Triceratops. What? Okay, that's... Okay, why would I kill the dinosaurs? No. No, I can't. Alright, but yeah, everybody. This is what we've done today. We have successfully built this cage. Completed our wheat farm. Hatched a Gallimimus and fed more our Parasaur more. And we're going to end off this episode by going and seeing how big our Parasaur got in the process of this episode. <gasps> Baby Parasaur H4! Oh my god, he's so adorable! He's, she's she. Is it a she? Yes, I believe it is. Gender feel yeah, it is a she. She's so adorable. All right, everybody, this is where we gonna call our episode today. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, subscribe, as well as hit that notification bell. It'll let you know every time I go live and post a video. And please do tell your friends and family to check out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Have.